Hello everyone, Scott Bloom here, and welcome to the third part of the incremental tutorial. Uh, in this part, I am going to uh, create a system for auto purchase, and I am also going to uh, make some uh, prefabs of our uh, like quote unquote buildings. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get started on that. Uh, okay, so as you may have noticed, I uh, renamed these two buttons, Auto Play and Level Up. <coughs> Make it less confusing. Alright, so in the canvas, let's uh, add another button. And this will be called Auto Purchase and I am going to place it underneath uh, the autoplay and level up buttons so minus 60 and let's change the label of the text to auto purchase okay um, alright let's go into our or mono develop and let's see here public button uh, auto purchase button and we'll create another boolean for auto purchase enabled call that false public float uh, auto oops auto purchase cost equals let's do uh, 50 <clears throat> all right so And let's see here. Public void auto purchase. Okay, and let's see here. When the goal of the auto purchase is when uh, uh, you, when you do the auto purchase, it'll automatically purchase a building when uh, you have enough money to buy it so and I actually played around with this a little bit and uh, it was actually pretty stupid on my part <clears throat> so next purchase cost equals next purchase cost times 0 0.5 F because that confused it as a double so you gotta put in the F to make sure that it's a float so let's uh, do that for those two okay so then we will want to uh, alright uh, First, we'll want to uh, take away the main currency dot current money minus equals auto pur purchase cost. Then we will want to enable auto play so or auto purchase auto purchase enabled equals true. and uh, go into update actually let's uh, put that near the top so auto play enable okay so it'll be down here if auto purchase enabled is disabled or is false then 
we will want to check to see if the main currency is uh, uh, at the same level as uh, auto purchase cost. <clears throat> So main currency dot auto or the current money is let's check to see if it's uh, less than auto purchase cost and if it is then uh oh right uh auto purchase button dot interactable equals false. else if if it's greater than or equal to auto purchase cost then auto purchase button dot interactable equals true so once uh, the auto purchase button is uh, enabled then you can do auto purchase. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so and then it'll enable that. So if auto, oh, uh, hmm. <clears throat> okay, so auto purchase enabled and uh, let's do invoke repeating uh, what was it purchase next uh, time oh wait no 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 um, Okay, so if uh, main currency dot current money is greater than or equal to purchase next, oh wait, no, uh, <clears throat> next purchase cost, then it will uh, and we will want to enable or uh, call in purchase next alright uh, see here auto auto Purchase button dot interactable equals false. Main currency dot current money is less than next purchase cost. Actually, you know what? Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, because if you can't, then it won't do anything, so there's really no sense in that. Um, <clears throat> so, when that's. Alright, so every other button. Or okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want the. the uh, level up button. <clears throat> Level up button not interactable. I don't even need to do that. 
Alright, uh... Level up button dot interactable equals false. Actually, yeah, yeah, I would need to do that. So, if it's auto purchase is enabled, then that. Alright, so how this will work is when. Uh, Alright, so yeah. When. Uh, okay, so you'll start out with just uh, an, a an active uh, game. So you'll need to. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you'll need to uh, gather up enough uh, money to. Uh, uh, to enable uh, auto purchase. So, and I think I set it to 50. Yeah, I set it to 50. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's just play like a normal game. Okay, so auto. Wait, why is. Okay, level up. Why was that enabled? Okay. Main operation. Uh, auto purchase button. Auto purchase button. That's what I was missing there. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so. Collect money. Auto play. So, five. Ten. So, another ten seconds, and we'll be able to do the level up. <clears throat> All right, so now ten twenty. And that should pop up. Yep. Then fifteen. Thirty. And forty five, and then twenty, forty, sixty. And then we'll be able to per do the auto purchase. Oh, silly me, I did not uh, add that. Main operation. Uh, button script and auto purchase. All right, so let's try this again. <clears throat> uh, but you know what? I'm just gonna do that. All right, so now when uh, when it gets up to the next thing for the level up, then it will automatically purchase the level up. Yep, see, it just uh, dropped down to zero, so we should be getting 10 credits now. There you go. And then once it hits 30, it will automatically uh, purchase uh, the next level for this building. So we should be seeing 15. Excellent. 30, 45, then 0, then 20, 40, 60, <coughs> minus uh, the next level up. Uh, so 22, so it'll be about 70, 70 something. Then it'll drop down to our first decimal alright so that is auto purchase so as of this moment this is a truly idle game so it'll uh, purchase when now you have uh, enough credits for the next level and you don't you could just walk away from it 
Uh, so yeah, that is uh, what I wanted to do from the start. So I kind I just kind of built my way to this point with you. Um, all right. So and let's see here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object within the canvas. Uh, okay, so yeah. And I will call this my building. And I am going to, let's see here, uh, zero. Alright, so zero, 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 and I am going to put uh, actually, I'm going to take out the button script script from this, but first I'm going to copy the uh, component so before I remove it, then I'm going to put it into this. Okay, so button script, and let's uh, paste component values. Okay, and then I want to move these buttons into my building. <coughs> and uh, let's see here. All right. Well, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh, Actually, you know what? I am going to move all these up 30, I think. Or should I... 30? Yeah, why not? 30. That'll be good enough. <clears throat> so, uh, autoplay and level up, that'll be 0. And that will be minus 30. Okay, so, they're about centered, so let's take this and drop it into our assets folder we just created a prefab of our building and we can create new buildings let's uh... let's move this uh... over here let's see here uh, let's round that down to 250 and 100. Okay, so uh, purchase cost. Uh, okay, so we could. All right, so let's do add another building item. Uh, all right, let's uh, delete that. Okay. All right, whatever. Uh, just put that in there, and then move this over here. So, uh, <clears throat> two fifty, and let's do. Let's move that to 125. Alright. And let's see here. Current level for this will be 0. And. Okay, so. For this, we will have to go back to our button script. And. Uh, we will add another if statement if current level equals zero let's make sure oops let's make sure that it's 0, 0.0 f because it's a float um, then we will want uh, button object dot interactable equals false <coughs> 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 Sorry. Okay, else if current level. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, 
current level is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and we want if, uh, yeah, if autoplay is disabled. Auto, yeah, nope. If autoplay enabled is disabled, then uh, button button object dot interactable equals true. So, and if it's enabled, if autoplay is, or if autoplay is disabled, then that'll be enabled. But if uh, if it's enabled, then uh, the uh, button object will be disabled. So, okay, so let's go back here. Oh, uh, assignment condition. Oh, oh. yeah. So, yeah. All right, so I kind of screwed up there. All right, so let's see here. Cannot, cannot, okay, so there we go. Both are uh, gone. So let's see here. Let's increase the uh, next purchase cost. Let's do that. Let's set that to 35. And let's set the auto purchase t for this to 100. Save. And set that to 25. Alright. So we got uh, two instances of the same thing, but uh, they're, they have different values. So play. And okay, so. Uh, Okay. All right. Let's see here. Button object. That'll be that. Auto play. Yeah. Auto play. Auto play. Level up. Auto purchase. Uh, button script. If main currency. Oh, did I? Uh, ah, none. Main currency. Okay, so I goofed up there. All right. So now this should all work. All right. So can't do anything with that because there's no. Uh, leveling up to do there, so let's uh, uh, okay. Okay, so I should be able to collect money, but there's nothing happening there. <clears throat> I did not see that coming. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, if... If current level is greater than or equal to 1, if autoplay is disabled... Or, if autoplay enabled is, uh, false, then... Button object uh, interactable equals true. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, my building button none object, okay. Uh, then that would be this. Button none object, okay, so kind of screwed that up, so. Alright, so apply. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh Play. Hmm. 
Hmm. One time only on click my bill. Okay, so maybe. Oh, wait. My building. Let's see here. Button script. Purchase next. Okay, so apply. <clears throat> Okay, so minus 20. Minus 20? What? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want purchase next. Uh, button script. Give money. Apply. <coughs> Alright. There we go. Okay, so autoplay, that should not be 10. So let's uh, up that. Uh, okay, autoplay cost. Let's do 45. All right, so autoplay is now disabled for that. So let's. Uh, okay, let's see your autoplay. None object. Okay, so I kind of goofed up there too. Button script. Uh, here we go. Autoplay. Level up. None object. My building. And we want button script. And purchase next. Apply. Auto purchase. None. Okay, so. Now that I have all that set up, so uh, whenever you make a change to this <clears throat> that you want to keep, uh, click the apply button and that will uh, save it to the prefab. Alright, and let's see here. Alright, so, and my building, my building one. Uh, all right. <clears throat> all right. So save, play. Now I could purchase auto play, and then it will give me the credits every five seconds, as you can see. And let's uh. There we go, 35, so we can do that now. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, actually, let's get rid of this. And let's put in a fresh one. Actually, let's, uh, get rid of it. Yeah, uh... Let's uh, move that down there. <clears throat> All right, and <clears throat> button. Okay, so all that is good now. And let's adjust the uh, currency and all the other options. Uh, auto play cost uh, 50, uh, 35, 100. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's see here. Object. Okay, my building. Ah, main currency. That. Okay, so why didn't it... It should have... Oh well, whatever. There we go. Alright. Let's do 35. Okay, so now... We got two buildings. Let's do auto pay there. Or, yeah, auto play there. And auto play there. So we will get uh, 
even more money, so auto purchase. <clears throat> so now this will automatically purchase and uh, everything here, but we can do level up here whenever we can't do an auto purchase here. So and then uh, we'll eventually be able to do an auto purchase uh, on this one. So okay, so that uh, kind of went away. All right, now we can we got two auto purchases. So. Uh, we'll be able to get a whole lot of money from these two. So, see, it's uh, even. I should probably do something about uh, rounding that up to uh, the nearest uh, hundredth. But, looks like uh, it's doing alright. So, what we did now <clears throat> is we created a prefabricated object using this as a template and we created a new one uh, right here and what we're also doing is we are auto purchasing uh, level ups for our game objects so yeah uh, that is uh, the basis for a truly uh, idle game uh, now this doesn't have a save uh, function so whenever you start stop the game it will you will lose your uh, information and you would have to start all over again so uh, yeah hopefully this was uh, informative and uh, hopefully uh, I'd like to uh, see you uh, take this tutorial to the next step and maybe do your own background images maybe some background music and uh... yeah just play around with uh... what you can and uh... maybe show it to me uh... send me a, put a post a link to uh... your uh... game if you want to use itch.io or whatever just uh... yeah go ahead and uh... make up your own game and uh... share it uh... on this uh... youtube video so Thank you for watching, and uh, stick around for another tutorial. See you later.